have you on the program issues of the moment. My name is Chimezie Ozems. President Muhammad Buhari precisely last week signed into law the reworked amended electoral bill into law. There are 10 key provisions of that very law. And for the purposes of our conversation this morning, we are going to focus on Clause 50. Clause 50 gives the Independent National Electoral Commission INEC the power, the legal backing to transmit election results electronically. What will be the effect on next year's election? Joining me in the studio to discuss this very important issue are Mr. C.K. Egara. Mr. Egara is the Abia State Chairman. Interparty Advisory Council. Mr. Gara, welcome to Issues of the Moment. Thank you for having me and good afternoon, viewers. I also have in the studio Mr. Chidi Oza Zubike. Mr. Oza Zubike is an Ababia's legal practitioner. Mr. Zubike, welcome to the program. Good afternoon, welcome, viewers. Uh, Mr. Zubike, let me start uh, with you. Uh, uh, this is uh, You Are Tough, a familiar terrain. Yes. Now, with what happened last Friday, can it be said that uh, President Buhari is keen in conducting an election that will not only be acceptable to Nigerians but to the international community with the signing of the new electoral bill into law? Yeah, thank you, Mr. Moderator. Um, I will say yes. I will say yes because, according to you, Section 50 talks about electronic transfer of election results, and this has, as a matter of fact the pain of our quality. That is where we have the greatest challenge in our political struggle, even through the entire political ecosystem. It's, 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 it's a plus for Nigeria. It's a plus because most of the distortions, most of the, uh, what I call it, all the discrepancies you have in the electionary and even the result outcomes are conducted in the process of result collation. That is why by the signing of this, Nigerians are in for a surprise or surprises because all the political parties right now can win elections. Any political party Any in Nigeria political can win an election now. And not only the two major political parties. That's true. That's true. What is, what is now going to go for people is popularity mm -hmm. and general people appeal. That's what's going to win elections for people and the God factor. What do you mean by the God factor? As a matter of fact, like I mentioned to you, how the governor came, our current governor. Yes. If not, oh, remember, the court said, Alex wrote to 16 local governments over one. But out of the one, the governor was declared the winner. It's just because of the fact that there was a kind of support that came from that angle. So that's why I said the God factor, because in all our activities, God still gives power. It is only God that gives power. No matter who is there, if God doesn't approve of it. Mind you, Alex Oti. Alex Oti came with power. Everybody thought Alex had taken it. Which other the same thing. At the point. What do you mean by power? What I mean by power is I mean our power, security wise, okay. money wise, and what it takes. Mind you, at a point, because of which other. The gate of government house was locked. <laughs> the gate of government was locked because they felt that it was coming with the federal might to take over government. But because of that same God factor, it was it was very clear that God allowed Okese to be the government. Okay, thank you uh, very much for that explanation. Now, Ms. Uza Zubike, any political party in Nigeria can win an election with the signing with uh, the electronic transfer transmission of results. Don't you think that uh, it is good for our democracy? Yes, it's a very good development for our democracy. In fact, we regard this uh, act as revolutionary, as yes. it has changed a lot of issues that you know be bothering the citizenry. But let us say that uh, until you operate a law, the application and the operation is where the spirit of seriousness is. Outside, the people who will implement the law, the actual people who will implement the law, will demonstrate 
whether the genuine intentions of the president will be a, a, will be reality or farce or fallacy. The reason being that you may make a law with very good intentions, but when it comes to the time of implementations, people will regularly will begin to look for loopholes and avenues of trying to frustrate what it otherwise is a genuine legislative instrument. So let's let's see how we test run this act. You can see that it has come too close to the time of election. There are international convictions that uh, do not support us amending our electoral laws very close to the election. And we know that out of all the laws in Nigeria, this one has become so repeatedly amended and amended. And even this one now, there is still an attempt to amend it because of the central position of the electoral act to our uh, system as a nation. That's why everybody is interested. That's why amendments, uh, people are agitating. But all the same, what we have, we can begin with this and expect to grow in the future. Let's implement that which we have. And let's see the spirit of the lawmakers uh, uh, in practical reality so that we can be a better nation. Okay, thank you. Sorry, I, I want to add something. Okay. He was talking about application, application of the law itself. Now, we are concentrating on Article 50, eh, which talks about transmission, electronic transmission of results. of results. Now, what are the envisaged problems and challenges? The envisaged problem and challenges are human error. And those human error can be taken care of by the participants themselves. Take for instance, I, I got an information that, in fact, not myself, when I was trying to change certain things on my voter's card, there were some issues that came up. I did it at INEC headquarters because I was the first person they used to demonstrate the beavers. So in using me to demonstrate beavers, I found out the system. So well, somebody can still frustrate that. But there are certain things we are doing. There are kind, kind of partnership we are having with INEC. And we are also educating the people. So that you understand that these are simple technology. Somebody was asking me, assuming there is no network, in transmitting the result. Yes, As it, it in works, your area. It works like your phone. It works like your phone. Mind you, it does not take away the physical writing of results at the polling units. Yes. It does not. Because you will be given an election result booklet, then you write whatever you write down there is what you impute in that listing. It is this and beavers, it. it is this beavers down that will authenticate your result because the beavers will take total record of the accredited members and the voted strength. So that's why the beavers is the instrument that everybody should monitor and take charge of. In, in other words, uh, if I want to send a text message to you now yes. and the, there is no network for it to go, once I have sent that text message, eventually when the network comes, yes. there will be no change. That same message I have sent to you Simple. will still appear. It, it, so, so it, 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 it's the same message. Yeah. So, so when you say that there is a challenge of a network in a particular area, <laughs> it's not going to be forever. Yeah. Anytime. If, if there is a problem of network, if in about 30 minutes the network improves, the message will still go. But let it be that there is a feeder. Let it be that the input is made so that when the output comes out, it can remain mathematically, Beautiful. electronically Beautiful. perfect. Yes. Inherent. You can't say it's not subject to any in person's manipulation. Yes. That's why there will be no uh, uh, alteration. It's just a wonderful thing if. Our people can genuinely, sincerely, as I said, God factor. If at the time of registration of voters, we do it in fear of God, at the time of the election, we do it, collection of the result, transmission of result, everybody does it with a good conscience. Everybody acts in a manner that knows that the destiny of the nation is at stake. There is not just one uh, uh, individual uh, uh, political post. It is the destiny of even unborn children mm. that you are born in or you are dissipating yes. by your actions. When we have that mindset, that paradigm, it will be easy for us to 
you know, make the, the what was said, thus says, to become what comes to pass. Mm. Because it is the, the, the gap between thus says and came to pass. That is the gap where yes. people change it. Okay. So let what we have said by voting, Nigerians have said in voting, become what will come out so that nobody will be called the uh, Supreme Court governor or whatever. We will know it is the people that elected the whoever occupies any political post. Okay, thank you very much. Now, see, Kegara, I read that Chino Achebe's uh, last work. Okay. There was a country. Mm. In that very book, uh, he revealed how some British officials rigged the first election in Nigeria, that of 1959, in favor of a section of the country. Mm. And with that uh, uh, fraudulent act, it opened uh, a floodgate of electoral malpractices which have become a permanent feature of elections in Nigeria. With uh, what uh, President Buhari has done, what do you think will be the effect of Clause 50 on next year's election? This is a very innovative clause. Very, very innovative. It is going to checkmate all these fraudulent activities. I was told that children of seven years get registered in the north. And I don't really understand the rationale behind such a character and attitude. If that is true, I want to believe this innovation will correct some of them. I want to believe that sincerely. Because the beaver itself will prove and take the ace. There's a mechanism in the system that will prove whether the person is an adult. I think so. So that's why this one is very innovative. It will correct several wrongs. And that's why, if you see, either because of the awareness created already, this enthusiasm, people want to participate in the electoral process. process now. Unlike before. You How were you able to find out? No, because I was in Ireland before yesterday. The rec told me that results are trickling in. Every day you are getting 400, 500. Unlike before. People are registering. People are registering. That's what it told me. Also, I also, there was also a program. I was, I was, I received a call, a, a phone in a program. An IPOB guy insulted me and said all sorts of nonsense on air. I laughed. I encouraged myself not to be angry. At the end of the day, I asked him just one question. You are talking about referendum, referendum. Do you think referendum will be done with your complimentary card? Referendum will be conducted with voter's card. If referendum is going to be conducted with voter's card, you are now a saboteur as far as I'm concerned. Because you don't want the referendum to be conducted. Or even if it's conducted, at the end of the day, you would not be useful. So, when I made that assertion on air, after two days, I don't know how they got my number. Some of them called me and said that they have consulted with their, their people and they have found out that what I said was the truth. And now they're asking me, how am I going to help them to get registered? I said, go to any INEC office or arrange yourself in units. I can arrange with INEC to come and register you guys. I mean, is that not enough to true in this direction? So, right. so, so that's why I'm telling you, enlightenment is the key. And that's exactly what IPAC in Abia State have been doing. Mind you, the interest of Abia Christian community is now very, very, very high because of the level of interface we've been holding with them. Do you understand? So we are still prepared to do more. And that's why I give kudos to the presidency for signing this into law. Because it will then concretize all our efforts. It's not going to be business as usual. People, including boot party, boot that you don't hear about, boot, if they have a good candidate, they will win elections. The era of PDP, APC, APGA, they are gone and gone forever. You'll be surprised at the results you are going to churn out during the elections. In 2023. I'm just telling you the truth. What is important is how do people see you? That is what is going to play out during this next election. Abians, we know 
We know the criminals within our system. We know those who have shortchanged audience. We know those who have mortgaged the conscience and the livelihood of our unborn children. We know them. So when they come out now, it's obvious that people will tend not to vote for them. And you have nothing to do about it. So that's the situation we have found ourselves. And that's why we are saying kudos to this new electoral act. Okay, thank you, uh, Mr. CK. Now, uh, Mr. Oza Zubike, don't you think that uh, the era of fighting election results in government houses is uh, uh, gradually coming to an end? Is it the beginning <laughs> of, uh, of the end? <laughs> in all honesty, uh, uh, I, I, I think it's the beginning of the end. I wouldn't say it is an end. The reason being that it's the same human beings that will operate this system. He's still human beings. You see, if you are, if uh, if you use a, a gallon to, to put kerosene, after emptying the kerosene, you now put water. The the content of that gallon will still affect the taste of the water. So I don't think our political players have been recreated, have been have been transformed enough that the the the, the kerosene uh, element in the gallon of their life. Are you saying that uh, it's like a case <laughs> of uh, the same food wine in a new city? Sure, sure, sure. It has it until it is there, it's completely clean and I don't think it will happen overnight. It's only God that will, that will help us. It's a gradual process. process. But there is evidence of genuine intention to advance, to get to the next level. You understand? Again, the, 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 the city, the voting populace ought to be lightened, like what you are doing here. People should know that it is no longer business as usual. Many people, you, there is that voter party, if you ask them, they will say, oh, for me to come and vote again, they have already written it. Yes. The average businessman, if you don't close the market that day, you'll be surprised they will prefer to go to higher hall and their market. Because the, the, their mindset is that, Whatever they vote, it is those they want to give it, they will give it to. And it has repeated several times that their fears are not unfounded. They have seen it happen. But let us, let us tell them to not, to not to rest on their doors, not to throw in the towel because of the situation of things. Let us trust God that there will be a change. This system, this, electro, this electoral act we are seeing now, is an instrument that can begin the change. I wouldn't say it will be automatic. The, 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 the politicians will still look for other ways of trying to manipulate the system, but I think it will not be very easy if only we can stand. If I vote, I will watch what will happen. I keep record because this electronic trans transmission is open to the public. You can go there with your own equipment and quickly go online and and switch in and get your record in 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 a matter of seconds. So it's not something you say one hour, two hour. So this issue of carrying the result from here to local government yes. before you arrive, they said that the results have been announced. It and you see for for them to adjust to this new system, it's not going to be easy. They are already used to the old system of manipulation. This one now, it will take time for them to adjust, and nemesis will catch up with so many people. Okay, I'm, I'm, so I'm to, happy to, just, about it. just to, to make uh, uh, to make uh, an added as an added note to this, it is it's obvious. Uh, I, that's why I quite want to disagree with the issue of old wine in a new wine skin. Wine skin. Reason being that most of these people that do this they are not computer savvy. They don't they don't use the system. They still prefer the old system. And that is why mass movement, if people buy into this, if people are aware that they cannot read the election again, election cannot be read again because of this electoral act. And you stay there, vote. When you vote, you wait until the results are counted. Once they are counted, go home. Okay. It's over. Okay. Go home. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Mr. CK. And uh, with that, uh, we are going to uh, take a short break. And when we come back, issues of the moment continues. Stay tuned.
Welcome back to the program. This is Issues of the Moment, and today we are taking a look at the signing of the new amended electoral bill into law by President Muhammadu Buhari precisely one week ago. And my guests are Mr. C.K. Igara and uh, Mr. Chidi Buzo Azubike. Now, Mr. C.K., before we went on that break, uh, you were talking about uh, uh, there will be no rigging of uh, election in Nigeria uh, uh, in 2023. But uh, I also want to inform you about what uh, Chino Achebe said in this all apart. Uh, INEC and politicians, they are like uh, the proverbial uh, Aneke the bird and the hunter. The bird said that he, uh, he has discovered that uh, since hunters have learned to shoot uh, without missing their mark, that he will learn to fly without uh, perching. Now in this case, don't you think that uh, politicians will also uh, uh, see a way of compromising the system, is it foolproof? One, there is the reality, the truth, that human beings will always want to find a way of subverting a good process. It's obvious. It was about that. Now, why we are so confident about this is because it's a new introduction. It is only when it is experimented through this 2023 that people will start learning few things that are going to happen and then that's when their ideas of how to subvert it they will start developing it that's why it's like i am of the opinion that this 2023 is going to give us a semblance of the people's opinion yes do you understand so but that does not stop our people mind you these high top politicians, some of them, they nominated some of the INEC officers. Whether you like it or not. Yes. I want to believe. Some of them are in their payroll. Some of them are in their payroll. And because they are in their payroll, they will always tell them what to do. It's obvious. But it's not going to be a general application. So, so the, 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 what I call it, the probability of subverting it is very low. It's not too high. So that's why we are confident that Nigerians may have free, fair, and credible election come 2023. Okay, thank you. Now, Mr. Oza uh, there is no perfect election even uh, in advanced democracies of the world. Do you have any fear uh, concerning the electronic transmission of results, election results. And to be honest, Mr. Moderator, I have fears. My fear is, is predicated on that this pen chart, this uh, 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 attitude of politicians, their desperation when it comes to getting to political offices. And what makes it, why, why it is attractive? Because of the the monetary benefits that the office offers the ordinary citizen. Yes. I mean, the political officer or a political or, 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 or a, a, a politician. So, because of that, they do everything and anything fair or foul in order to make sure they come to, the, to that office. So, with that, my attitude, then nothing can happen. I mean, you had a situation where a, a Top electoral officer was held captive, hostage, locked up by a well-respected politician, and he re they refused that he should go anywhere unless a particular result, according to them, is announced. If it is this act now that has come to take care of it, so that desperation they will devise other means. That's why I am telling you, my fears is that, but is that they, are, they will try to undermine the system. But it will be difficult and the, the extent will not be like uh, when it was, when there was no such law. You all right, all understand? The law, the, the, the teeth has not been given to the uh, to INEC yes. to do the right thing. But before it was business as usual. So I, I believe there will be an improvement. But to have an inherent, an error-free, perfect, a Dorado election that will be uh, error-free, that will be 
with that with the void of, of any electoral malpractice, my brother, I don't think it's we are say we are not yet there. We are not very much there. But at least in this there is going to be election of two states before the 2023 yes. election. So we we'll use those two states as a case study. Yes, a kitty and a, a, a on the, on the state as a test run to uh, kind of see how this electronic system will function. And then by 2023, we can now perfect cross the T dot the I to get the best that we can. Well, let's have let's have faith in the system. Let's not be you know negative yes. or uh, let's be optimistic that they will get the best. But to have a perfect election, I don't think as uh, people are prepared for it. Don't you think that uh, government should do everything possible to address the issue of vote buying? Because uh, as a result of hunger, as a result of poverty, people may still vote for candidates uh, with uh, deep pockets. It's, it's obvious. It's obvious. You know, hunger, there is one thing they call population theory. That theory reduces you to a point anything goes. And that's what most of our politicians have adopted over the years. But we have gotten to the point that he who that is down, yes, no you fear no fall. You're already down. You're already down. So because you're already down, the only thing you need to do to make sure you get up is to do the right thing. I want to believe we are at that point. You can't, you can't tell me anybody who is comfortable. Even those who we think have so much money are still not comfortable because of what? Criminals are after them. Insecurity. Insecurity. So, so nobody is comfortable. So the best thing to do is for us to do the right thing. Let the right book on. A situation where the people we elected are seen as gods. You cannot assess them. You cannot talk to them. But when they are asking for your vote, they will nearly come to your house to sweep. But once the power is given to them, you don't have access to them. You cannot tell them you have problems. They are there because of you. And I think that is the era we are approaching now. And I want to believe if we want to get it right, everybody must come out and participate in this electionary process. Okay, thank you. Uh, we are gradually coming to the end of today's edition of the Issues of the Moment. But before we call it a day, Mr. Zazubike, I want you to talk to our people. Well, my people, we wish to appeal to you, uh, let's not be pessimistic, let's be optimistic that we are advancing, we are making progress. At least we are not where we were before. We have met quite some improvements. Even though that is why you see the Electoral Act have always been going through amendments, amendments, amendments. It is all in the process, you know, when you want to perfect, it is practice. You practice and practice and practice and you perfect. So let us have faith in the system. Let's believe that the INEC officials, the political uh, players, we play according to the rules. But let us do our own part. Our own part is to come out and vote for the candidate of our choice. And watch and be sure once the result is transmitted, we have played our part. Our own part is also to make, make sure that there is no violence. We are, our part is to make sure that we don't sell our conscience because of part three some. Somebody gives you a little 5,000 or 2,000 and you mortgage the destiny of your life and generation. Once you play your own part, and then let us see the God factor input. Ultimately, we will advance to the next level. As we, we, as we continue to experiment, we may come to a state where all of these things we have been complaining will become a thing of the past. And we have some states, like you have seen Alhambra State, now have people they can have confidence and beat their chest out. Yes, where there is hope at the end of the tunnel. If we have such thing in other states, then Nigeria is better off for it. 
But if we, you know, fold our hands and our kimbo and say we will not come to be registered, we, we, even if we want a referendum, let us do that which we can do now and expect the future to come to be. So I believe that this nation must move forward with this law, with this electoral act okay. that have just been passed. Okay, uh, thank you very much. Now, Mr. C.K., as the Abia State Chairman of uh, Inter-Party Advisory Council, I also want to talk to our people, telling them to have confidence in the electoral process. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Madrota. Now, I will first of all talk to the government. I will talk to the government, telling the, our government to be neutral. Our government to make sure that they don't flood the, uh, what I call it, the place with their money. Because it is from there that all this encouragement, because you cannot tell me that somebody who is a private practitioner like him can muster all the money to come and start buying votes. I don't think That's so. where we start from. Number two, we also talk to our brothers, the IPOB. Listen, if you don't come out to register now so that you participate in the election, you are sabotaging the evil struggle. You are sabotaging everything you have been picking. It means you are speaking and doing things which you don't even know the implications. I also talked to the church community. God assured us that this 2023 is for the church community. They should stop selling their rights. Because all these people go to the churches to receive their anointing and their blessings before they can assume the power position. But for every average Abian, this is the time there's an opportunity for us to register. The more you register and participate in this election process, there is no toga anymore. I want everybody to remember that there is no way the elections will be rigged with this electoral act. Come out and participate, and your crowd will intimidate all the riggers. Your crowd will also make it difficult for ballot snatchers to come. Even if they take the ballot, eh, make sure you record it. Once it's recorded, it will be declared null and void. So your participation is what is key and paramount. So everybody, let's forget this issue of during election we start playing football, during election we start doing our businesses and start watching films. We should participate now and vote whoever we want. Now results must be exactly the reality of our votes. So I encourage everybody to participate in this election process. Okay, thank you very much, uh, uh, Mr. CK, for that uh, wonderful information. Uh, my panelists, they are saying that uh, we should have confidence in the electoral process with the signing of uh, 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 the electoral amendment building to law by President Muhammadu Buhari last Friday. And they are saying that any political party in Nigeria can now win an election. So we should have confidence in what will happen next year. Mr. CK and the Oza CK, it's always a pleasure having you on our program. Thank you for coming. You're thank, welcome. You very much. thank you very much. My name is Chimezi Ozems. I also want to thank you for participating in today's edition of our program. I'll see you next week. <laughs>